make you feel really, really good tonight. Um, we're going to start with a tune that was written by uh, Chick Corea. And um, I'm not going to mention where he's from because I know we have some New Yorkers in the house. And if I mention a certain city or a certain state that, you know, y'all might have a little, you know, way about receiving that. So I'll leave that nameless. But um, he wrote a tune that's kind of like a maze, but once you figure it out, then you just can't stop playing it. But for purposes for tonight, because we have four more tunes to do after this, we're going to contain ourselves. <laughs> and this tune is called Humpty Dumpty, and we hope you enjoy it.
Thank you very much. That was Chick Corea's Humpty Dumpty. We'll go ahead and introduce the members of the band. And um, before I do that, I want to take time and um, thank everybody that's watching on live stream right now, uh, watching all around the world. And um, thank you all for tuning in. On, um, yeah, go ahead, give it up. And everybody up here represents a different section of Georgia, and um, that's what makes this group so special. Um, this is only our third time together, you know, doing, doing a gig together, but um, every time we get together, it's always getting better and better. And um, I couldn't have it any other way. On trumpet, from Conyers, Georgia, Marcus Printup. <laughs> and from Thompson, Georgia, which is 30 minutes west of Augusta, Small town, got to see it. On tenor saxophone, Mr. Stantuan Kendrick. <laughs> Originally from Columbus, Ohio, but living in Atlanta, Georgia right now on piano, Mr. Kenny Banks Jr. <laughs> on the bass from Atlanta, Georgia, Mr. Kevin Smith. And on the drums, all the way from Valdosta, Georgia, Mr. Brandon McRae. <laughs> and that makes up the Georgia horns. And for these next three, oh, oh, on myself, from Thompson, Georgia, on trombone, Mr. Chris Crenshaw. Yeah. Me. Appreciate that, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> all right, for these next three, these next three tunes are going to come from the horn players of the Georgia horns, and um, each one of them has something that's, you, you know, unique. And so I'm going to let each one of them introduce their own tunes. And so for this first one, I'm going to turn it over to my cousin. Really my cousin. He's really my cousin. <laughs> like, for real. Like, he grew up, like, up, up the street from my cousin who lived on the bottom of the street. Like, this. <laughs> all, that, all, the the all, that. all that together, yeah. Preschool on, yeah. So it's a long-standing relationship, and um, <laughs> and here he is to introduce this tune, Mr. Stantuan Kendrick. Thank you, thank you. So this particular song is an uh, interesting one because I wrote it when I was working on all of the songs that I wrote for my album that I just released this year. There was a couple of years ago that I was writing this song, and it was one of the last ones that I was finishing up. And I couldn't decide if it was going to be on the record. But going back to the initial phase of it, it was skeletons at the time when I was writing a little in pieces, you know. And you ever sit in a room and, you know, you're working on something that's very quiet and you swore you heard something in there with you? <laughs> you know, like it, it was like, did I, did I just hear that? You know, and my grandmother hadn't too long passed away when I wrote this song. And I was thinking about her while I was writing this song. And those things were happening when I was writing this song. You know, and it's kind of like I'm sitting there in this quiet, and, and I swore I heard something. I swore I saw like a shadow or anything. And I just said, you know what? You're still here. You know, you're sitting in here, or you keeping me company is what you're doing. I'm not going to be afraid, you know. So the name of this song is The Past On Still Remain is the name of this song. And it has a bunch of influences of mine and hers in it. So it'll be interesting.
How about it one more time for Mr. Staff Twan Kendrick? Composition. The past stone still remains. And the album that he was referring to was called No Longer Bound. It was released in March, and you can find it on Amazon, iTunes, CD Baby. You can find it anywhere. And it's a great album. It's a great album. A lot of lot of innovative stuff in there. So find it when you get a chance. And um, this next tune is a composition that I wrote a while ago. And um, it's funny how we were thinking about um, significant others who, who passed on. And he wrote a tune for his grandmother. I ended up writing a tune for my grandmother as well. Wow. And um, and she was so she was so dear to me. She made some of the best cakes that you could ever dr dream of. <laughs> and she was just um, she was just a wonderful soul. She she played games with me. I remember all those rhythm games like Miss Mary Mack, all dressed in black, and all those games she played with me. And when she wagged the fingers three times, that that meant she meant business. So. All of that is in this tune. It's a waltz that I wrote, and it's called Mama Seal, and it's short for Lucille. All right, so hope you all enjoy it.
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Mama Seal. If you're up there, tell my Auntie Jean, I said, hey. <laughs> they were next door neighbors. They were literally inseparable. So, you know, heart goes out to her. To introduce this next tune, I'm going to turn it over to my high brass section and turn it over to Kanye's Georgia native, Mr. Marcus Printup. Thank you very much. Before I continue, I have to say to all the Georgia people watching, go dogs. All right. <laughs> Come on now. Hey, so in, in continuing the theme of compositions for people who are influential to us, who, whether it be our loved ones, our, our mentors, this is my, the, the person that planted the seed for me to play jazz. His name is Bishop David Hudson. And um, I'm a firm believer in that when people pass, when, you're, when your loved ones pass away, it's up to us to continue their, their legacy through conversation, through music, and that's what we've done tonight. So being, it's, being Sunday, may, may, I, may I have an amen? Can I get an amen? amen. May I say it again? Amen. One more time. Amen. All right. Let me, let me try that without stuttering again. May I have amen? amen. Say it again. Amen. One more time. Amen. That's it. This is entitled um, The Bishop, and it's after my high school jazz band director, David Hudson. Hope you enjoy.
Thank you very much. Thank you. That was the bishop.